Hi everyone. I'm just liking these uh, classic slice of life Facebook live videos. So here I am in my kitchen. As you can see, I'm making some delicious food. Check it out. It looks amazing, right? These are king bit mushrooms and I find them absolutely delicious. They cook very similar to scallops. And um, so it's interesting because um, scallops are often a little pricier than I would like, but also mushrooms are very delicious and nutritious. So there you have it. So yeah, my intention with this video is to kind of illuminate my um, goals for this Kickstarter that I have. So um, the idea is that I'm trying to raise $300. <laughs> Um, I want to get this cool camera, but then I also just, um, I don't know why. I probably should have uh, aimed really low when said $200 because the camera costs $215 plus tax and shipping, I guess. But the idea is that it's so, like, weird because I want to make videos with it to promote the Kickstarter to get it. And so it's almost like I need to have money to get money. And I need nice things to get nice things. And so it's almost like I'm just expecting it to fail at this point. I'm expecting people not to give me any money because um, I make crappy videos. And they don't see the potential in me making good videos. And maybe that's the, the reality I live in where I got to just um, ask people that I've already asked people, you know, like, um, I have a couple of people that give me money for stuff, and then I have money, but I just I feel awkward asking them for all the things that I want. And a lot of it is just like when when someone gives so much and then asking for a little more, it's just like I don't want to ask, you know. But um, I thought I'd try the Kickstarter thing anyways, cause um, it worked once. And I got this amazing um, microphone that I still use and love and think is really great. And so my goal is to just like, you know, see what happens. And then if it doesn't work, be like I tried. And, you know, people just don't like um, giving randos money for things that uh, they don't think they really need. Late stage capitalism sucks. Because it's just like... I'm asking for money, which is just like the world to get it, but it's like to give it is just like less than a burrito, you know, in theory, if everyone gave just like a little bit, but of course, um, they won't because, you know, money is weird where it's like people that have a lot of it don't see it as like a resource to share because they, um, worked really hard for it and they're stressed out about it and they're stressed out about other jobs and then... It's just like people that are stressed want this little nest egg to do stuff with later. Maybe retire or whatever and stuff like that. And so being a hedonist like myself, it's just kind of like, well, what about the beauty of now and getting things you want now? And of course, I don't have any savings, but I also don't work jobs that I don't like. So it's a tough trade-off where it's just like, yeah, I don't like late stage capitalism where people resign themselves to being stressed out Monday through Friday and then try to resolve their um, emotional dissonance on the weekends and through vacations. Um, I think most of the time they do okay. And hey, maybe you do have a high paying job that you love. In that case, um, talk to me about it. I think that is very beautiful. Because, um, yeah, these things are very rare and stuff. And um, if you're living your best life, that's great. And I'm, I mean, in a lot of ways, I'm living my best life too. But it is super awkward feeling like, uh, like this money thing is just like, I have to ask. I have to, you know, be, uh, get real with people and tell them my situation where it's just like, um... I, I, I don't save up for nice things, but also, like, I've had a really hard um, emotional time. And so it's just, like, this feeling of working through grief and trying to work, but also trying to, like, embrace, like, the weird miracle that is art and 
wanting to do art and having energy for something that doesn't pay anything, but the satisfaction that you're making something that you think needs to be in the world, it's it's got its price, and that price is stressful, and that price is you can't make big projects happen without a little help. Anyways, um, this video has gone on a little longer than I anticipated, but here's just a little slice of life. Alright, have a good day. Bye-bye.